Morning from Waxwing. Having my coffee in the cockpit. It's not raining today, which is good. Um, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, an interesting week this week. My brother Jim and myself, we got a, a, one good fine day during the week, so we're going across to Farragudo. Uh, and it's different. I, I, this is a sailing channel, and it's, it's about me getting ready to get my boat ready to sail around the world. And I never, you know, show stuff that I do outside the boat, but uh, I'm looking forward to going across the, to the other side, over to Farragudo, over there, in the dinghy with Jim. And uh, we're going to have a bit of fun. So anyway, that'd be nice, do something different. Get off the boat for an hour or two, and for the afternoon actually. We're going to go over about one o'clock and uh, take our time and have a lovely hike and be lovely to spend time with Jim. He goes home soon. So uh, plenty of other stuff to see and do. The weather is not playing ball, unfortunately. The Azores High, as I said, is uh, up west of Ireland, which is giving good weather up that side, but not down here. So it's about one day good out of five. It was 38 knots yesterday, believe it or not, I recorded 38. And I'm mad to go sailing. So it's, uh, if it's 38 knots in here, you'd be pretty sure it's 40, 45 outside, which, you know, I, I want to go out and, and have a bit of fun sailing and check everything. Uh, and if the weather's that bad, I'm better off in here doing jobs, actually, and getting a lot done. So plenty to see and do. So I hope you enjoy watching this week. So just as we decided to cross the river, uh, this uh, big cruise ship came up, the Silver Dawn. What a sight to see. We stayed well out of our way, obviously. Uh, probably wouldn't even see us in the dinghy. So we continued on over to the beach and watched her go up the, uh, up towards Portimao and uh, begin her adventure ashore. So a day out of the marina today, which is lovely. The marina's just over there. And we came across the river, myself and Jim. It's Jim's last day, so we're going to explore and walk right up to the end, up to the lighthouse. And, and then, as a treat, we're going to have our lunch up there in a while. So it's lovely. Now, beach life. <laughs> beach life. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Must have been eaten out by the sea over the years. Lovely day to explore. When I see these caves, <laughs> I always want to go looking for the pirate treasure. Look at that. Wow, I gotta go in here actually. Oh wow. Wow. Oh, it's full of pigeons. You could live in here. So this is where I came in when I had the rudder damage from the whale strike. And I anchored here. And uh, before I went back off again. And then I ended up coming back here after Tenerife. And that's the marina over, that's where Waxwing is now, over there. So it's a lovely sheltered, uh, protected anchorage. I'll be back out in the anchorage now soon. What an adventure. So nice to get off the boat. Back down the trail. Just so lucky to find that trail actually. And back out onto the beach for the dinghies. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> You're having a break. Just a few minutes. The cruise ship has docked. That's the one that passed us today when we were in the dinghy. So Jim left and flew back to Ireland today. So uh, it was a lovely time. It was a really lovely time and it was great company and a great catch up. And Jim is a lovely level head. 
and it was lovely to discuss stuff. I, you know, there's a lot of stuff I have to buy and see what I can afford, and you know, it's, it was just nice. It was just lovely company, the whole lot, and the food was definitely better, as I said the last last week. So I get lazy when it comes to food. So um, uh, so back on to the jobs today. I'm going to take apart my hydro bin. Uh, it's just too big to have inside. I had it down here, just running. You might have seen it in my old videos, and I was almost stubbing my toe on it. And, uh, I was worried if in, in a knockdown, even though I had it lashed. So I'll show you now what, I, what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to take it apart and store it in the quarter berth where I used to keep the cruising chute. So I'm going to move that because it, it's better to have the cruising chute in the folks. Uh, so that's what I'm at now today. So this is my spare uh, hydro vane, my wind vane self-steering. I have the Aries on the back, but I carry this as a backup because it would be my emergency rudder if I lost the rudder so I'm just giving it a I took the covers off you can see them there and I'm just going to clean it up and just lube it and check everything and maybe take the tarp the top part off make it smaller for stowing below the mounting pads for the hydro vane are still there that one and the bottom one you can see it down there so if there was a problem, it's only a matter of dropping it back down it wouldn't wouldn't be a massive job at sea and it would give you it would give you emergency steering back up and back up again. So after examining it and giving it a few soft taps I realized that I can uh, I undid all this here and I'm going to draw that bar out and then I have just two pieces of the hydro vent very easy to put back together again when I need it. Beautiful. Excellent. That's a good job done now. So after I took my hydro bed apart, I cleared out the, uh, the quarter berth in here. And uh, that's one half of the hydro bin. That's the second half. And then I have my grab bag, which will be further out as I'm sailing. My flares. But it's a much better setup. I'm much happier with that. The, the, the bad weather is giving me lots of time to do jobs that I wouldn't normally do. I cleaned out the four peak as well. My cruising chute is up there, which is handy and accessible. I still have more to do. I gotta that's a halyard I gotta put back up the mast. My dry suit. It'll be all squared away a lot better now soon. But having this time while the weather is bad, the weather's just so um so unsettled at the moment. The, the Azores High is up over England, well it's just west of Ireland, which has given England and Ireland pretty good weather. And it's pretty crap down here. <laughs> so if you're at home you're better off. But uh it's a great time to get these jobs done and I wouldn't be doing them otherwise. I know I wouldn't because I have so much other stuff to do outside and uh, patience is a virtue. I must be virtuous. I'm mad to go sailing. Uh, that's an old expression. I learned that at school because I had to write it out a hundred times <laughs> for being, I forget what I did, being bold anyway. But um, so I'm, I'm mad to go sailing. I'm just mad to get out. And uh, there's a friend of mine here. I met a lovely friend called Rhys here in the Marine, an Irish guy, and he's got a, a lovely steel yacht, uh, Sailing Zora. He's got a nice channel too, actually. Uh, so he's meant to go as well. He said he'd come with both, go, both boats go out sailing, but the weather just isn't behaving. And uh, there's no point in going out in four, six and seven if you don't have to. I'd get more work done here in those few days uh, if I had to. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll play it by ear. So you can see it's changing. It's uh, it's just very unsettled. Do you know it's force? I tell you about what, on Monday, 44 knots, you know. So uh, I suppose I have to be patient. I just have to wait and hopefully uh, next week, look at this. Hopefully next week it improves. And uh, you know what I mean? It's still early in the season and I'm just itchy to go and I've made mistakes over the years by leaving when I wasn't, you know, anyway. Patience is a virtue, as I said a while ago. Good morning. I'm just having my breakfast. I, I, I normally get up and have a cup of coffee. And then I have some Weetabix and a nice vitamin drink or squeeze an orange juice if I have fresh oranges. But I, I, I was thinking about the comments. I'm getting lovely comments, thank you, uh, from Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube. And a lot of people are, are curious about my food and what I eat. And that's what made me think of it now while I was having my, my breakfast. Um, 
that's kind of what I do. I get up, I, uh, I snack. I'm a grazer more so than eating big meals. Now at sea, I cook a big meal and I, I, I kind of use it for the day. But uh, one thing that uh, an awful lot of people commented on, which I was surprised about, was my uh, the bread I make in the frying pan, which is really nice. It's really lovely. And... Uh, it's, it's, it's just lovely at sea, but I forgot to put up the the, uh, the recipe and the ingredients, so I'm gonna give you that now if you want, because an awful lot of people had asked for it. So it's three quarter of a cup of lukewarm water, two tablespoons of sugar, two cups of self-raising flour, I forgot to say it was self-raising in the video, uh, a pinch of salt, a good pinch of salt, uh, a tiny bit of vegetable oil, like a, a, I use about half a teaspoon, and, and then I knead it, I mix it, I mix it up and I let it stand and I oil the outside of it just in my hands and then I, I, I just I, I just cover that in the bowl and let it rise for an hour. If I have time, sometimes I don't, I just put it straight in the pan. Um, then I, I give I knead it again and then you put very little oil in the frying pan because you don't want to fry the bottom of it, you just want to bake it. So I, ju I just grease the, the bottom of the pan with oil and then wipe it again with, with the a tissue just so it's not. Uh, you know little pools of oil and then a very low heat very very low heat for 10 minutes and then I turn it again for, for another 10 minutes and then I just turn the pan off and let it there and uh, it's really nice and it's so simple so I, I sorry I forgot to put that up last week and I, I said I'd put it on my website as well and I forgot so that's uh, that's my bread boat life bread hole in my my favorite tracksuit pants so I suppose if I can uh, Repair sails. I must be able to repair my, my pants. <laughs> a man effort. <laughs> well, it's better than the whole. And they're comfy and I like them. Too wet and windy outside today for uh, drying the clothes. I dried them as good as I can, but I'm going to just air them off in here. <laughs> Socks and everything. Hopefully the weather improves soon. So the wind is still howling this morning. Uh, 30, 40, 45, 48 knots, I think, over the next few days. So anyway, I'm getting lots done. I'm disappointed. I really wanted to go sailing. And I might get out for a while tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, I have to wait and see. So anyway, today's mission, uh, I'm going to put the, the bridle um back on the transom for my jordan series drogue and for my uh i have a big long line i can i can trail behind me as well a warp an octiplat rope i think it's 220 meters long so at least i'll have i'll have everything set up by the time i do get the weather window to, to head north you know so patience is a virtue i said it already but i have no patience <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm getting work done, so that's what I'm at today. So I'll show you the setup for the, for my bridle, uh, my Jordan series drogue, and for, and for I'll show you the whole lot right now. So that's the bridle that came with my drogue. And uh, they, they would have been the, the attachments points for the cow hitch. I didn't like that. And I heard a lot of reports of them failing. So I had this made. Far more, more substantial and less likely to part. Or, well, that breaks your inferior trouble. So here's the transom of Waxwing. You can see I have uh, horizontal chain plates both sides of the transom. Uh, bolted through the hole, 10 mils, uh, quite substantial. Uh, I just had to get in out of the rain, but it's, it's cleared up again. The wind is still there, but um, good to get these jobs done. So I have the bridles hanging over, ready ready to just bolt on, and then uh, seizing wire in so they don't open. And uh, that'll be uh, another job ticked off the list. It's nice when, when the when the when the rain stops it's nice. Don't you just love that name, Millennium Millennium Falcon. What a great name for a boat. And same again. I'm not sure whether to tie them or, or seize them. 
So that's the two of them done now. I've even got the rudder down on the uh, the Aries, hoping that the weather improves. <laughs> I'm tempting the universe to make it better by getting everything ready. So that's the bridle for the draw cable tied on. So once I deploy that, uh, it'll just ping, 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 and uh, break itself free. Tying it up neatly keeps it out of the proper of the Aries and everything. Just having my breakfast. Uh, it's Friday morning, and it's it's actually a good day in Portimao. The forecast is for about 15, 18 knots, um, which is great. So I'm actually going sailing, and there's another Irish boat in the marina, a lovely steel yacht called Zora. A friend of mine, I became good friends with Reese. So uh, the two boats are going out, which will be fun. I don't often do that, only sometimes with my brother John, but um, so it'd be fun, and uh, we can video each other and stuff like that. And we're going to sail down along to the the coast of the Algarve and then probably anchor back in Alvor on the way back up this evening. So this should be some good footage and uh, uh, God, it's just great to get out. I can't wait. All right. Talk soon. My friend Reese, sailing Zora beside me. Not much wind, but lovely to be out. Oh, it's so good to be out. <laughs> waiting and waiting and waiting. Doing about six knots into the wind, which is lovely. So this is Zora. Reese bought her as a shell and rebuilt her from the kilo. She's an amazing job. Uh, he's got a lovely sailing channel, um, sailing Zora, and you'll see all the work he's done on her. Incredible job. Everything. Beautiful. She's a fabulous boat. Sailing along the beautiful coast of the Algarve. Uh, we have Lagos there in front. Um, in around the base, uh, that's Alvor. We'll be going back there tonight. Uh, it's magnificent. What a beautiful day up along Playa de Roca, Porto Mau. Beautiful and just a lovely wind. Lovely to check everything and everything's working perfect. Yankee stay sailing main up. Slipping along nice seven knots. <laughs> Happy out. Beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. Been out for now this evening. And uh, get something, cook something nice and go to anchor, which would be lovely. So this is the whole idea of sea trials. I forgot to tighten the leech line in my Yankee. And the clue is so high, I have to drop the Yankee to do that. So uh, I'll do that now this evening when I anchor. Big breakwaters. Four 
4.9 knots. Oh, sorry, 4.9 G plus. So not bad. It says stretch. So here's Reese in the gap. He's going to anchor somewhere near me, and I suppose he'd put the dinghy in and uh, he'd call over and we'd cook something to eat, which is always nice to have a bit of company for dinner. Wax wing sitting pretty at the anchorage. All good. Anchored in L4. Lovely to see everything rocking in the boat again and feel the boat moving. She's happy to be out. I'll show you the anchorage. Isn't it lovely? Wind as they forecast about 18 knots. Beautiful, huh? What a gorgeous place. That's Alvor inside. We're just in the mouth of the. Uh, I'm, I, I anchored just inside the opening. Lovely to be anchored. Uh, just having a snack now and a drink of water. Uh, lovely to be in company sailing with another boat and, and uh, to get footage of waxwing sailing. You don't often see that and it's lovely. Um, local knowledge is a great thing. When I sailed into Portimao first to repair my steering, there was a, made a lovely friend, uh, Antonio Rodriguez. And um, then when I came back from Tenerife and, and went into the marina, he picked me up with his car and drove me to Alvor and, and showed me this area and where to anchor. So thanks for your, your uh, advice and friendship, Antonio. A great friend in Portugal, and a proud Portuguese man too. <laughs> so uh, I sorry about the video. I I, uh, I got so excited I was out sailing I didn't put in a microphone, so everything was just wind noise. So I put a bit of music over it. But anyway, uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Please like it all helps. And uh, so there'll be more sailing footage next week. I'll be, um, I'll be the, the weather breaks now again in a few days. And gets bad again and but anyway I, i'm going to do uh, like today was was great to check everything and it's it's important it's important to check everything it's a long sail i think it's a thousand miles to ireland nautical miles so i want everything right and it's good to get out of the marine it's great i was out of the marina twice now this week once with jim and now today and uh we'll probably go for a good big sail again now tomorrow and end up i might anchor back in portimao or go into the marina i'm not sure uh I still have a few weeks paid up in the marina. So anyway, thanks again. Wishing everyone a super weekend and uh, wax wing out.